agencies yes. that only launch celebrity brands oh so what you saw in the video was actually followed by iron man the trick that we've done there is if you really see the mascot in the video right. it's not ronald mcdonald at all This is the split of questions. So we have more than half the questions simply on brands and campaigns. So you should have some interesting fun. We have some questions on identity and advertising legends, and then founder stories as well as ambassadors. Right. So before we start, I'm going to share a fun fact as part of an opening monologue uh, to start with. So as all of you know, Mark Zuckerberg recently launched the Threads app, which is a competitor to Twitter. And the Threads app, the name Thread and the logo are both taken from Twitter. At is the symbol that was used by Twitter first on. social media to refer to someone directly but what is interesting is that in india however a lot of people thought that it was inspired by malayalam and tamil letters so somebody guessed that you know there was a malayali designer working at meta who probably used the alphabet tr and that's how they used uh, that symbol which is not true i just want to clarify this is a myth similarly in us they thought that the ad symbol was actually taken from a homer simpson's year visual so that's what they thought and they had a discussion on prime time television once again clarifying this is a myth and not a fact so speaking of mark zuckerberg at a quiz let's start with a simple question on mark questions and answers first question from the round 1 on your screen now which global internet brand are we talking about here which global internet platform whose biggest market is india the myth is that it was named after questions and answers the fact is that the name refers to the group of people reaching consensus the fun fact is that mark zuckerberg actually used this to choose which company to acquire let's look at all the interesting guesses so like i always say the wrong answers are a lot more interesting than the right ones but 63 of you got it right immediately this is cora right let's look at what are the other guesses right so 64 of you got this one right so obviously this is the first question it's fairly simple one right the leaderboard it's too early to look at this even let's move on right so cora is not there was a long uh, standing myth about cora uh, just like the threads app that cora stands for questions or answers it actually comes from the word quorum which is the minimum number of people required to take a decision and interestingly the founder of cora was actually the former cto of facebook and mark zuckerberg was a frequent user of cora and he actually asked the question on cora saying which company should i acquire and the answer that got upvoted the most actually became the company that he acquired for facebook you're on mute have you ever used cora to choose which companies to acquire uh, no i was going to say that's funny because these days everybody just checks how many instagram followers <laughs> before they decide to acquire a company so true uh, i think it's a question that's also asked on some of those shows as well Here's the second question. These are all ads based on popular memes. For which app? Right. Very innovative, creative campaign earlier this year by a popular brand, where they recreated famous ad campaign, the uh, famous memes as part of the ad campaign. So on the top left, you see the famous DiCaprio meme, which is recreated with the line, "When you finally find a landlord who rents to unmarried children." Then you have the confused anime meme, where he looks at making chai and says, "Is this cooking?" You don't have to fold clothes if you never wash them. EMIs for home loan versus EMIs for new phone, and the distracted boyfriend meme with life as an Instagram influencer and a stable corporate job. Right, the correct answer is Tinder. Right, so a lot of you said Cred, which is an interesting, popular guess. It's interesting to see Kinder instead of Tinder. I think they're talking about Kinder Joy, not Tinder. So we'll assume that. <laughs> right. Let's move on. So this is the adulting can wait. The campaign itself was actually named after a very popular meme, Tinder campaign that ran in all the cities in India earlier this year. Next question, question number three on your screen: Which brand's campaign promotes borderless living? So these are very creative ads, right, for a particular brand that promotes borderless living. Just tell me which brand is this? So they erased the borders between different countries. One hint I'll give you is that their logo was turned upside down to symbolize love. With that, the time is up. The correct answer isn't McDonald's or Expedia. It is actually Airbnb. As many of you got it right, you could have worked this one out very cleverly, uh, based on the logo hint as well as what how the question was framed. 
right? So three players have just hit an answer streak of three, right? So this is a very interesting campaign by Airbnb called I Love Being a Citizen of Anywhere. This is a campaign specifically for their Mexican branch. That's an interesting yes. thing about Airbnb. Um, of course, very novel concept, what they did was great. But there was a time when they were struggling, you know, they were yes. going through a kind of stagnant period. And the way they unlocked their next wave of, glo wave of growth globally was actually when they changed what they stood for and tapped into this insight, this large cultural insight that when anybody travels, the last thing they want to be is a tourist, right? Interesting. They discovered this after a lot of research, a lot of work, but it feels so intuitive, so simple. And that's when they arrived at this larger brand purpose of belong anywhere. And we're not just about renting places. We're about helping you feel like you belong. Moving on to the next question, which brand collaborated with one of India's biggest singers to create this jingle? Listen carefully, it's an audio question. Right, the correct answer is in paper boat. Uh, some of you actually went for Jocelyn Royale. But the correct answer is Paytm, as most of you figure out from the lyrics and the song itself. Right, so 75 of you got this one right. Congratulations to all of you. In fact, Paperboard, I think, also used, uh, you know, uh, one of the songs from Malgudi Days. Let's move on to the next question. Which brand's award-winning campaign is this? Just tell me the brand. Afsos, if you've said McDonald's, it's actually Burger King, right? So that's the reason why we asked this question. So 46, 49, 50 of you said McDonald's. Uh, this is a trick question, Sai. Uh, so two things. Number one, you should know. So this campaign released in um, on Valentine's Day 2020. It was actually conceptualized and ready for Valentine's Day 2019. But it oh, took wow. eight months for it to clear the legal process. We had to keep doing changes and minor tweaks, etc., etc., until we finally got a go ahead, and that's why we had to release it then the following year. The trick that we've done there is if you really see the mascot in the video, right. it's not Ronald McDonald at all. Okay, um, it's it's a it's a look alike, yes. but it's really far if you do a like like comparison. I think uh, you had another interesting fun fact about you know Burger King's culture, right? Which is uh, you know, led by the leadership as well. Uh, if yeah. you'd like to share any fun facts here, please. Yeah, so you have uh, two very interesting people on the screen here. Yes. This is uh, for, now, for those who don't know, um, on the left here is Fernando Machado. He used yes. to be the global CMO of Burger King, so he was our client. And on the right is Anselmo Ramos. Anselmo Ramos is a um, uh, you know legendary creative director based in the US. Now he has his own agency called Gut. But oh. he also worked on Burger King for many years. He was behind Ogilvy's Dove sketches and many other award-winning campaigns. So uh, Fernando and Anselmo are huge ad nerds, like many people here themselves, yes. right? Um, and they play this game. Game is like one person will name a campaign, say Burger King, Moldy Whopper. Okay. And the other person has to guess which year, which award did it win, who was the agency, which metal did it win, etc. So that's how crazy they are. All right, let's move on quickly to the next question. We're doing very well on time. This Indian apparel collection is a collaboration between two companies. No part points. I need both the brands. Take a close look.
let's see what are the interesting answers it's not agio i think some of you went for the sponsors that's a very clever <laughs> answer it reminds me of my school day quizzing where you know you would have one question on one of the sponsors but that's not what we're doing here five of you got this one right great answering so this is the maniwar collection for marvel comics so what you saw in the video was actually thor followed by captain yeah, followed by iron man and followed by wakanda or black panther series of kurtas speaking of marvel here's a question on dc for all dc fans out there two icons united for this campaign one is batman who is the other watch this video carefully is unite who have you got a clue Let's play a game. Just we and you. Right. The correct answer is Oreo. This was a collaboration between Batman and Oreo. Right. This is a special edition of Oreo co cookies that was released for the release uh, for the collaboration with the Batman film. Take a look at this ad. Two icons unite. Who? Have you got a clue? Let's play a game. Just we and you. Oreo meets the Batman. The limited edition. Right. That's the end of round 1. We're fair, doing very well on time. That's just taken around 20 minutes. So this is about iconic campaigns uh, where we just sort of step up in terms of the difficulty level, but again, the answers are fairly simple. The questions might sound complex. You can work it out based on all the clues in the question. Here's the first question of round 2. Which iconic jingle was inspired by the speech? I can accept either the brand or the jingle. Push me to raise taxes and I'll say no. and they'll push and I'll say no and they'll push again and I'll say to them read my lips no new taxes and with that your time is up it's not revlon nike dairy milk Some of you are just fixed on all our sponsors, which is great. We love that. Our sponsors also love that. But the correct answer I was looking for was Uncle Chips or Bole Mere Lips. I love Uncle Chips. So that was George Bush in his 80s campaign where he said, "Read my lips, no more taxes." So there was a person called Kullard who was a creative director at Contract Advertising who looked at this and said, "Hey, that sounds like something I can use for my Uncle Chips campaign." And that's how Bole Mere Lips was inspired. Chips and their famous campaign. from the early 90s called bole mere lips i love uncle chips let's take a look bole hum sab ke liye i love uncle chips bole mere lips i love uncle chips bole mere lips i love uncle chips wah wah dil hai uncle chips So that was the iconic campaign, uh, which has now again made its uh, resurrection with Yashraj Mukate, who's just made a new version of the same ad jingle. Interestingly, I had some fun. I asked, uh, you know, AI on what did they think would be the ad campaign inspired by George Bush's campaign, and the first answer that ChatGPT threw up was "Kuch Khas Hai" by Cadbury's Dairy Milk. For that one person who ca guessed Cadbury's Dairy Milk, unfortunately, AI, AI doesn't give you all the answers you need. It actually makes up new campaigns which don't exist. So, congratulations to that one person. Let's move on to the next one. Which sports brand's unique innovation campaign is this? Take a close look. question the answer is not nike uniqlo asics or adidas it is actually decathlon right you could have worked it out based on the design language itself so this is a very unique campaign earlier this year by decathlon where they replaced the disability sign and they created 
people playing different sports on VHS, right? Three, two of you got it right. That's pretty much close to the number of teams we need for the finals. You just, you just, yes. I like top of mind recall playing such a big role here. Absolutely. People who didn't recognize what campaign it is, Nike, Adidas are just default guesses, right? Yes. And that's what happens with consumers as well. They just go to shorthand directly. They don't want to. They don't want to wait. They don't want to apply it themselves to see what brand it is. Right. Let's see. The Lido board will. Let's move on to the next question. Which brand 60 year old campaign for women's empowerment is this? So campaign that's been running for the last 60 years. This is the story of a girl. A girl who did the same thing every day. In repetitious. But not to her. It's what she loved. Yuki was happy on all her days. But especially on the one she got to visit the old lady. For whom she had special admiration. No one knows exactly how old she is. She has to be close to a hundred by now. But she still works on her artwork every day. What uh, interesting guesses? Hello Kitty, Kit Kat, Toyota, Sony. The correct answer we're looking for is Yakult. Right, the Yakult Lady Program. Do read up about it. Very interesting program uh, by this brand. Moving on to the next question, to target Gen Z, which brand shifted from its traditional back-to-school campaigns to these anime ads? Watch this beautiful ad campaign. answer is not apple camlin life boy flipkart sony classmate but actually ikea right so you would have seen throughout the entire ad all the rooms were filled with ikea products moving on to the next question what kind of businesses faced ad censorship in 2023 in 2023 during a global summit that happened in an indian city you can work out the indian city by just looking at the visuals carefully tell me what type of local businesses were forced to have their ads censored with white sheets casinos in goa right that i think eight of you got it right immediate uh, the g20 summit was happening in april this year and the local municipality was feeling embarrassed that you know casinos advertise a lot in panjim so they just hid those uh, ads with white sheets when the summit right let's move on right um yeah this is uh, uh, the casinos in goa uh, mithila any fun facts to share on this question Yeah, uh, not on the question, but on the logo that you just put up. Uh, yes. So you see here, this is the uh, the Goa state logo that was designed uh, by Goa Tourism a few years back. Yes. We actually pitched for this project as well. Um, this logo wasn't designed by us, um, but the thinking behind the logo, the strategy that we had presented, they actually did like that, and it was taken forward into the design. So if you see the design, this is an anagram. It yes. Reads both ways um and the whole thought behind it was that in there's a goa for everybody right so whether you're a thrill seeker or you're seeking relaxation um whether you're going there for partying or you're going there for soul searching whether you're going there for uh, you know a food festival or you're going there for to become a fitness freak yes. there's a goa for everyone next question thank you so much mithila for the fun fact okay similar to kentucky fried chicken and colonel sanders which indian fnb brand has made its founder its mascot right so these are on the right the marketing campaigns of a particular brand where they cleverly using their founder as a mascot and what you see on the left is the packaging of the same brand it's not wadilal or have more but it is keventers right so that is the founder of keventers edward keventer who's now become the mascot of the brand um let's see what change no changes what so this is keventers uh, which is cleverly using its founder edward keventer edward keventer is uh, was a 
person from um, uh, Mithila any stories of you know uh, founders becoming brand ambassadors or mascots of companies yeah you know um, I was just thinking about this when you asked this question not mm-hmm. exactly mascots but we're seeing this new wave of a lot of D2C founders and tech yes. founders actually becoming the faces and voices of their brands right so if you see like a Shashank Mehta of Whole Foods yes. or a food pencil of Lenskart yeah. they're taking their ads um, they're promoting them on social media. I think it really reflects this new social media culture. Okay, moving on to round three, uh, this is out of the box thinking. So it's not just about brands that did out of the box thinking, but we also need you to do a little bit of uh, this kind of thinking. On the first question of this round, which Indian delivery startups unique strategy is this, right? Which Indian food delivery brand was built on this marketing strategy? basis the number of washing machines sold in India. The assumption was mothers are the primary decision makers in tier 2, tier 3 towns. The insight was that if households are investing in a washing machine to reduce the mother's workload, then they're likely to spend on food delivery as well. Zomato, Dunzo, Uber Eats, Blinkit, Zepto. The correct answer is Swiggy. Right. Moving on. You know, this insight is interesting. I think, it's my assumption, I think there's something slightly misleading in the way the insight is framed because they're saying if households invest in a washing machine to reduce the mother's workload, they're likely to spend on food delivery. Yes. I think what they're confusing here is affordability and duty, right? If a household spends on a washing machine, that cues affordability and hence probably cues that, you know, they'll be willing to spend on food delivery. But I wouldn't liken the use of a washing machine to reduce a mother's workload because laundry versus cooking are very different. Moving on to next one. What is the portmanteau name of this campaign? Read the question carefully. Name this clever campaign title that combined the name of the web series that is being promoted as well as a phrase that means good luck and congratulations. Your answer should be 6,3. Maisel Toff, right? The television show that was being promoted was Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Right? So that's moving on. What is common to all these brand names? So all these three brand logos that you see on the right should be familiar to you if you were taking photographs up until 2016, brainstorming or designing. Now, if you identify the names of these brands, what would you find common to all these names? They're all tech brands, very popular brands. Any variation of the correct answer will give you points, right? So the correct answer is that these were all named after painters. Cool. Let's see if that changed anything. So these are uh, three of the tech brands that are named after painters or artists. Miro Boats, if you ever use Miro Boats for brainstorming, uh, it's named after Joan Miro. Dali, the AI generator, is named after Salvador Dali and Google Photos was earlier called Picasa, which was named after Pablo Picasso. Moving on to the next question, which Indian brand is named after an important phase in the evolution of its own industry? So what you see on the screen right now is the evolution of a particular industry. Between 30s and 60s, it was all about mass market brands. Between 60s and 2000s, it was about global retail brands. In the last 20 years, it was about artisanal small batch brands. And the next 10 years is going to be about the science of brands. Let's look at all the interesting guesses. Big Bazaar, Kalakara, Ajio. Ajio is a favorite question. We're going to send this to our sponsors. <laughs> I've had a question on Ajio. <laughs> the correct answer is third wave. The next question, which advertising agency has the toughest orientation program? Right? Which creative agency or which ad agency sends their new joinees to scale this mountain in their home country? Fuji Film, Fuji Japan, Mekan, Mitsubishi, Ogilvy. The correct answer is Densu. Climbing Mount Fuji is actually not a tough uh, 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 thing to do from what I've heard. It's, yes. a, it's a normal thing to do. <laughs> Moving on to the penultimate round. This is about path-breaking pioneers. We'll move quickly to the first question of this round. Which former ad man is this? Take a look at this photograph and just identify this person here, right? So this person used to work in advertising long ago in 1987 in Rediffusion. They were struggling to convince the client about a particular script, right? So he had to pretend to be a frustrated, angry customer who has used the cheaper option. A lot of interesting names. This is what I love about this question. Right. The correct answer is unfortunately Harsha Bokle. 
do check it out you can see this photograph on his instagram handle that's how you prepare for this brand quiz by doing spending a lot of time on instagram right, so this is harsha bogle moving on to the next question name this celebrity startup which indian startup is named after this celebrity cat and the cat's relationship with its parent or owner 86 guesses let's see what are the interesting startups named after cats the correct answer is edamama right so that was alia butt's cat uh, called edamama which has nothing to do with pets it's actually a kids wear brand um, which got sold to reliance for around 300 to 350 crores and edamama is named after the fact that she is edward's mama edward is a cat that we saw in the photographs right while this is a really authentic story you know these days it's an actual industry like there are agencies yes. that only launch celebrity brands oh so they'll do everything for you right so if you are the celeb they'll design the product marketing packaging the whole mix all you have to do is lend them your name and that's about it and this whole kind of splurge of celebrity brands that you see out there yes. many of them are launched this way that's why i really look up to brands like adam mama which are genuine authentic stories uh moving on to the next question another video question tell me which startup was founded by this monk entrepreneur and oh well, you are yeah i mean we we have a, a company there's a couple hundred people now here in when i was a monk i was teaching uh meditation sitting on the, the floor in in robes and try something tonight i don't think it's ever been done on late night talk we've definitely not before but uh, what should i do i sit next to you yeah do you want to come sit here yeah yeah awesome. and if you are watching in a bar i'd recommend you put your glass down yeah of course yeah Grab make make yourself comfortable you doing the lights a little bit okay. so look, we're not going to i would always encourage people to have done a um the correct answer is not spotify calm meditation the correct answer is headspace so actually it's andy's voice that you hear in a lot of the meditation classes on headspace right so this is andy padukone who was a monk before he met uh, an engineer and then set up headspace app let's move on to the next question on your screen which other show did we see this woman in so in the recently released made in heaven season 2 there's a popular punjabi actress who plays the role of a business manager on the left Just tell me in which other popular business TV show did this actress appear in 2023? Like a lot of you know this answer. Brand Blitz. No, it's not that show yet. Uh, that will be season two probably. A lot of you got this one right. This is Shark Tank. Right. This is a very interesting lady that I want to share the story about. Her, lady, her name is Parul Gulati. Uh, she's actually a Punjabi actress. She's a Punjabi movie actress and a uh, TV actress, and she's also appeared in a few Hindi TV shows. She's also an entrepreneur. Right. So she's started this company called Nish Hair which is a hair extension startup and she appeared on the se- uh, latest season of Shark Tank and got funding as per what she wanted so she got a valuation of 50 crores a uh, very inspiring story uh, uh, right and she also appears in Made in Heaven and many other shows yeah i love this so i have to just like talk about how Please. Tiger Baby is this is so on brand and on ca- on point for Tiger Baby it's funny uh, which is the production house behind Made in yes. Heaven I'm really wondering uh, owned by Zoya Akhtar and Reema I think uh, to, it's a coincidence I was with a producer from Tiger Baby earlier today my last meeting was with someone from there and we were talking about a script for this brand that we work on called Mia by Tanishk mm-hmm. uh, the script has a women empowerment angle to it and she just jumped at it she was like you know what we are feminists at heart we want to do this right and it just reflects in the show makers there are so many yeah. female characters involved the makers the actors the characters the themes in the show so I just love this whole story love parul's story on a personal level and yes. also what they're trying to do with made in heaven and with tiger baby in general absolutely uh, thank you for um, uh... talking about that i think that is an important point of how made in heaven is fairly progressive in that sense next question on your screen simply connect who from the world of advertising connects all these legendary campaigns cadbury's dairy milk kuch khas hai indian government's mile sur mera tumhara and britannia's ting 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 and bajaj autos hamara bajaj let's look at it a lot of interesting names again the correct answer we are looking for is louis banks the musician but this was a tough one happened this to was it. a tough one right this is specifically for those who came from advertising world as well moving on to the final round uh, hope you enjoyed the questions all right moving on to the first question of the final round who is this brand ambassador take a look at all these clues so in a recent campaign a neo bank hired a celebrity to find the perfect mutual fund for you 
name the brand ambassador or the celebrity they hired for this campaign right they actually created a linkedin profile for this person which says break fds not hearts she says that just like her previous field of work mutual funds are investment for one's future and they need to be picked carefully okay let's look at deepika padukon sania mirza sunny leon kiara advani dancer seema aunty or seema taparia that's what we were looking for so she is now officially listed as the mutual funds matchmaker uh, momo if you can just unmute yourself hello hello can you just introduce yourself and tell us yeah yeah, yeah so uh, we are Mo- we are from bom media here's the director of the ad hello <laughs> <laughs> he's the guy who made that ad so we produced the ad the one ad that we made uh, amazing And what was the experience working with Seema Taparia? It was lovely. I got her. I got her to send a personal message to my wife as well. The last few questions of this quiz. This is Seema Taparia, who was hired as a brand ambassador for Phi Neo Bank, right? So this is what um, she's known as the mutual fund matchmaker uh, in this campaign. Moving on to the next question: What is the next frontier in fashion? Take a look at this visual. So, which popular? Video game have top fashion brands in the world created in-game skins and merchandise, right? So this is a new form of marketing where brands are not just creating real apparel but actually creating virtual apparel for a video game. Just tell me the video game. Okay, the correct answer we were looking for was simply Fortnite, as most of you got it right. We would also give accepted Epic Games as your answer. Forty-six, forty-four of you got it right. Congratulations to them. Right, so that's Ralph Lauren, Polo, Balenciaga. All of them are creating skins and merchandise for Fortnite. Moving on to the next question: Whose brand identity is inspired by this? Take a close look at these visuals. Right. What you see on your screen is the path of a rocket. So a rocket doesn't go straight up; it goes straight up and then starts to incline and then goes flat. Which company's logo is? appropriately inspired by the path of a rocket so which logo is exactly in this shape that's what you need to figure out 89 guesses in so far zepto narendra modi x space tesla correct answer is spacex all right okay this is spacex's logo which is inspired by the trajectory of a rocket and as we all know elon musk is obsessed with the name x he registered this name during his days at paypal and of course twitter is now known as x moving on to the next question these are all vintage ads for which brand take a close look at this so on the left there's an interesting ad both these ads are talking to ad makers which means brand managers or media agencies and so on right The first one on the left says the most difficult task for an advertising man is to get a woman to try it for the first time. The second one is a little bit cheeky which has a child looking up and saying mummy how did you meet daddy. Right? The second one is actually an ad for one of the services of this media group which media group or which Indian brand are these ads for? Let's look at the correct answers. The correct answer is not shadi.com but it is times of india right so a lot of you got this one right we actually we work we do work with time the times group we also have worked with denik bhaskar um it was ad- quite refreshing to see these ads these days b2b ads targeted at advertisers or other industries tend to be very boring right they're very informative yes. they're so dry they're so direct i feel like i'm going to show these to my clients and be like look how creative Moving on uh, we are down to the last two questions a big big shout out once again to our title sponsors Cadbury's Dairy Milk who made their appearance through many guesses uh, from all the teams lovely uh, and of course Agio who, who is the most popular brand among all the guesses as well uh, but m- very seriously as well a big big shout out to Mithila for joining us today uh, it's honestly been an experiment to do this panel quiz and you've been an absolute pleasure to have on the show thank you so much Mithila uh, over to just one more slide uh, right and a big big shout out to the team at storyboard moving quickly to the last two questions of this quiz the penultimate question which brand made history by becoming the first to exclude its products from its ad take a look at these very creative ads so what a particular brand did is that they erased or photoshopped their products out of these ads 
to send a very strong message to their consumers. You can still work out the brand by looking at some of the elements in these ads. Yeah. Absolutely, I think uh, Corona is one of the few brands which has owned the space of you know drinking beer on a beach. Uh, in fact, I think Where's Your Beach was one of their most popular campaigns for a long, long time. Okay, Momo Media is on the leaderboard. Here's the ad campaign. <laughs> So this is a very interesting campaign launched by Corona last month where they wanted to encourage people to return their bottles and help recycle, which is why they return the bottles from their ad campaigns themselves. Right. Moving on to the last question of today's quiz, look at these series of ads and identify the advertiser who made this cricket themed campaign close to a decade ago. <laughs> Right, and with the end of that ad, we come to the end of the quiz. It's not Tata Tea, Piyush Pandey, Pringles, Parley. The correct answer is BJP, right? So this is a campaign for BJP. So BJP ran an Apki Baad Modi Sarkar campaign close to 10 years ago. But they also created these campaigns specifically for the India-Pakistan World Cup match, right? Which were heavily inspired by the Zuzu campaigns. Amazing quiz. Thank, thank you so much. I, I think, you know, using your, co uh, your answer or guess to give us a comment. Uh, thank you so much. That made my day. Uh, but congratulations to the 12 of you who got this one right. This is BJP um, with the Apki Bar Modi Sarkar campaign. All right. And with that, we are at the end of the quiz. Hope you enjoyed the quiz. Thank you so much. You've been a wonderful audience. So the qualified teams will be announced on social media by 7.30 p.m. today. Please note that the first regional final will go live next weekend, same time, Sunday, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. on CNBC YouTube 18, TV18's YouTube channel, followed by the other regional finals as well as the national finale with Yush Pandey. 